Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co Minecraft tutorial video continuing on in the dungeons. The dragons. Wait, can I get all the way back? And the space shuttles. There we go. There we go. Um it's been going good. We've been making some progress and we're almost unlocking some stuff, guys. Uh, remember last episode I asked you black or white? What kind of magic is do you want us to be the first that we delve into? We're not going there first, but I want to know what you guys want to see. So let us know down in the comments below. Uh, today we're working towards this stuff. Smeltery, main quest line, and blacksmith's workshop. And we're going to do a couple different things on this um, because... Like we talked last episode, there's a couple of things that we're, are starting to be locked behind needing an iron pickaxe. We don't have an iron pickaxe yet, so um, we need the blacksmith workshop to do that. To get that, we have to smelt up the tin that we found off stream, which I did. We've gotten that complete. Booyah. Uh, and then the next is getting black basic plates, so tin plates, so we need seven tin plates. This should not be hard at all. Oh, we got some more tin. So we're going to get these guys going. Uh, we need seven of these. And then we are going to uh, possibly take a bit of deviation, but we'll see. So we've got our tin plates. We're going to claim we get another copper chest, which is fantastic. And now to get the uh, Blacksmith's Workshop quest line unlocked, we need to get a tank valve. A tank valve is iron tin and a filter and filter is wool cloth wool cloth string mesh this should not be that hard so we need eight wool to make that and eight wool and 24 strings so let's see what we've got let's see what we've got eight wool and 24 string like how I haven't had string anywhere else. Uh, was there wool in here? There's some wool in there. I don't think there was wool in here. Is there some wool? Ooh, actually there's some of that wool cloth. So we need four wool for the wool cloth and 24 string. So we do need a little bit of string, which I was looking at and we can actually make and this is going to be a neat, a neat one. We can make a tree that helps with string, I believe, by doing this. Spider's web string. So we're going to try this. We're going to sleep first before things get crazy. Uh, but we should be able to plant this and get string. But it looks like we may need to farm a bit more string to get things ready for this. Um, so let's... Uh, i got so many fucking trees right now. So many trees. We're going to place this guy right here for now. Hopefully we'll get some string and we can start farming. So until we find more string, and I don't think I've got any hiding more hiding around in here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. So uh, we need to hunt some more string and see if we can... What was that? No, it's just paper. Um, so we can finish this tank valve. But in the meantime, we're stuck on the other stuff. So... I want to show you guys some neat things. I think this would be a perfect opportunity to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's in the mod pack and show you some of the fun stuff that we can do on this adventure. So we're going to do some adventuring. I've scouted out some locations. We're going to show you guys what's around. Uh, but first and foremost, I think I want to up my uh, durability on my armor a little bit. So we're going to finish these four tasks. To do these four tasks, we're going to need 24 copper plates, which is actually 48 copper bars. So it's a little expensive, but I was able to get what I needed. So we're going to start with that. Wait a second. What's going on? Copper. Let's spell things properly. Copper. Uh, whatever, I'm doing this the hard way. Uh, copper chest plate. Why won't you let me select you? Oh, I need the hammer too. That's why. I need to use the hammer with it. That's why I'm having some issues. So, chest plate first. Uh, boots. Okay, whatever. Chest plate's finished. Come on. Okay, we're going to claim the chest plate. Gets us some more of our, our plates back, which is nice. Our leggings is going to be exactly like that. So we should be able to do that. Not a problem. Next. 
oh, I get to choose what we want. So we can get another hammer, hammer rabbit stew, or a block of copper. Uh, I think the hammer... Actually, no, this is going to be worth more for us, the block of copper. Because it only takes two to make the hammer. Though, do I want the rabbit stew? Do I want the rabbit stew? Ten and point six. Let's grab the rabbit stew. Food is food is super beneficial in this one. So helmet, we need all around the top. Do 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 do. Please and thank you. So helmet, we this time want the copper plates. And last but not least, we want some boots. Which the boots. Uh, just two at the bottom. I thought I was doing this before. Must be wrong. There we go. So as a whole, these uh, are not the craziest of things. But let's see what we've got. Okay, we got three of them. We're going to go back into my inventory. So I did break all my clay stuff. So we're going to get uh, the copper ones on the copper ones have about the same armor protection three five we're going to keep those so we don't need these right now um about the same armor protection as the clay ones that we had but i believe the durability is a little bit higher so we're gonna go that right now finding and getting things for the wonderful 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 thing that we call iron pickaxe there's a few ways one of them uncommon loot bags have a chance of getting them so these green ones are uncommon. You can open them up and see what you can get. Oh, there's some stuff for blood magic. What else? Now, you cannot, if you're clicking a loot bag on a block, it will not open. You have to be clicking somewhere. Else. Oh, we get an iron helmet. That'll bump up our durability a little bit too. I like it. So that's one way you can hunt for it. We didn't get it. So next, we're going to go hunting for some things. Now, I'll just give you an example. Uh, I've, oh, cancel. As you can see, I've done some exploring around, found some stuff, and uh, there's different things in the world. I've marked a few that we're going to go to, specifically down here, but you can see in the water there's some pirate ships. There's also some dungeon entrances, and that's where we're going to go to. I found two dungeon entrances and some pirate ships. So we're going to go take a look at those. So, dungeon and pirate ship. I'm just going to teleport. Now, Normally, survival, I don't like to do this, but I don't want to make you guys wait through me wandering around and everything. So, we're taking the, the quick route. So, jump to the safety of this, and let's go to the pirate ship first. Uh, and then you can see from a bit of a distance what this thing looks like um, in terms of the front. Okay, so, we've got a few big pirate ships. Like, I love how there's actually three of them right here. So, we're going to go and explore one of these and show you guys some of the cool stuff that's on here because um, there's uh, lots of chests, lots of barrels, things you can pick up, which is fan fantastic. Though you got to be careful. I would not check out a pirate ship at night. Um, there are monster spawners on them, so you want to be careful. You can already hear those little buggers are already shown up. These are also a great place if you want to get some wool, because all of these are made out of wool. So it's great ways. Now, there's a few things we're going to check out. First and foremost, on the deck, the easiest things to get, there are these barrels. You can't access them, but if you break them open, there's all sorts of goodies in there. And this is, you know, high-level stuff that we have not uh, dealt with yet. So definitely worth picking up. Oh, look at that. We got an iron pick out of one of them. So progress already. What the? That's hilarious. They had a rooster in the in the thing. And the ice bucket challenge. So what did we get there? Another bucket? Oh, we got another iron pick. Oh, no, we got obsidian out of that. So you can see some really decent stuff in these barrels. So totally worth picking up while you're here. And as well, you can hear there's stuff uh, going on down beneath us. So in here, there's nothing yet. I'm going to leave the door open just in case. But we do get a few more... Uh, places, jeez, I need to, I need to start dropping some stuff into here. So we're gonna pick up all the goodies that are in here, which is very nice. But I'll, I'm, I can't wait to show you guys the real, the real goodies here. And that is, I believe, you can see we have a mob spawner on this side. So good to get rid of this before it causes you problems. 
And a block of gold, because of course we're on a pirate ship. There's got to be a block of gold. Did I pick it up? Please tell me I picked it up. Oh shit, no, I mined it with something that wasn't wasn't good enough. Let's get this pick out then. Let's get one of these better picks out. Um, so there's actually two, one on either side. So this should help. There we go. It actually broke properly this time. And then we do also have the buggers inside. And actually, I think there's also... I thought in here there was some at the back, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's... Yeah, emerald. There we go. I knew there was a block of something back here, too. Because, of course, the pirates got to have all their booty. Now, down here, we've got all the little buggers. Oh, I guess... Let's use a sword, Ben. Though, at this rate, I'm not getting anything from in there. But we can see, if we look down, there is actually some other chests in here. So maybe, just maybe, if we try to be cheeky. Which we can. <laughs> we can go this route. We can get this block of gold. We can see everything that's in here. Which is some more goodies. Wow. Uh, that looks good. That looks good. Cryothium. Ugh. Oh, string. There's the string we're looking for, guys. And we should be able to reach into this second one, too. Ooh, the steel. Stairs can stay. We need steel. Stairs can stay. We need steel. So, definitely something that we're going to... You may want to have to come back to and check these out. But we've already got all sorts of goodies. All sorts of goodies coming out of this one. Um, so, pirate ships... Not a bad place to explore at all. Though just be careful, there is lots of enemies that uh, spawn on here. So that's the pirate ship that I wanted to show you guys. And it worked out perfectly. I'm so happy that we got this iron pick because it'll mean we can knock a few other things out today. Oh, 12 minutes in already. 12 minutes in. We, or maybe we can't. I don't know. How long do we go? But now this guy is uh, a start of a dungeon. And this is one of the pretty dungeons. It's... Uh, Got a nice little little house set up. The There's a cake in the bottom floor, a furnace, crafting table. Nice little place to start setting up shop. It also has a uh, chest upstairs with all sorts of goodies in it. More string for us, which is fantastic. Diamond axe, some swords, all sorts of goodies. Pants with stuff, mending. Ooh, those might be good. Maybe let's swap that out. Um, all sorts of goodies. But the, the real goodies, the real goodies are down this way. So this staircase just continues on down. Keeps going down, keeps going down, keeps going down. And at the bottom, it opens us up into these fantastic things, which is a continuation. Ooh, this one. We don't want to go into this one. That just takes us into a cavern. Um, but so opens us up into different ways that we can go in here. So I'm going to start going this way. And you just need to break through some of your these iron bars. And you can start exploring, and we can see what there is. There's different pathways throughout here that uh, take us to different things. The first floor, there's not too much going on. But be careful where you walk, because there is... What you'll notice with a lot of, a lot of this stuff is the natural caverns and stuff can break through it. But this will open us up into a, a bigger cavern. Oh, over there we've got a spawner. Over there we got another spawner, so... Doesn't look like anything that I'm too big on chasing right now because I don't believe it will get us what we need or where we want to be. That's what I need. To. I just want to uh, stop them from coming. So what we're actually looking for is we're looking for a way down because these dungeons have multiple different levels and they're great ways. I mean, so far, there we go, some lights. Got to keep the lights on. Because let, let, let everybody know that there's people here. Oh, that one didn't work. Um, now, this one's interesting in that this dungeon is actually spawned underwater for us. So it's not the uh, greatest of things to transverse. But it could be worse. So here we go. Here's another one. Let's see, let's see if I can 
be a little greedy with it. There we go. Got it all lit up. We can, uh, and I would recommend, unless you're trying to set up a farm for it, get rid of them so they don't uh, overwhelm you later on. But each of these areas, typically, if there's a spawner, there is something with more stuff in it, which is fantastic. So everywhere, you know, we passed two other spawners further back, but this was the end of the road here. So this one wasn't good. Let's see if the, the one to our right has anything better. Let's check this direction. Uh, you can see, you can actually find some seeds in here. So there's some potatoes and carrots in this guy. And we're still early on. Like, oh, we got a, we've got a cake room here, which has another chest full of stuff. Man, I should have been getting this. You can pick up some cake if you're hungry, which also counts as a type of food and helps you. So not bad at all. I'm going to get some light going on here because I don't like that creeper down there. Uh, what's straight ahead? That was more, more hallway. What's this way? I'm hoping to find something interesting I can show you guys in here because for the most part, these are pretty... Ah, here we go. Here's the way down. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a floor that's got these holes in them because then you can uh, go down to another level. And as you go further down into these things is when things get better and better and better. Now, this one is a very interesting one. Uh, I don't think I've ever really seen it spawn in like this. So we've got three hallways. You can see down at the end of this hall, there's something interesting. So I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go look, but I don't really like this access port. So maybe let's go... Let's go this direction. This direction looks safe. I'm, I'm not super well kitted for a fight. So I'm tending to be, I don't have any great weapons. I really want to get some smeltery stuff going on so I can start to actually have some good stuff. Ooh. Oh, there's a few different ways I can go. But the nice thing is we found the next way down. But I'm not going to go because of that creeper that's right there. Oh, we've got more zombies. But keep your eyes. Oh. Nope, this is not going to work well. This is not going to work well. There we go. Less it can run through if you block through. God, I'm, I'm leaving so much stuff. But as you can see, lots and lots to explore here, guys. So um, that is the, the dungeons. But I am very happy with the haul today uh, and what we've got. So we're just going to head back home because we've got, we've got what we need. Now, first things first, we're just going to dump out... Uh, which one's going to be my sorting one? This is going to be our, my sorting one. We're going to dump out a whole bunch of the stuff that we've got. And we should now, like I said, have enough of this string to get what we need. So let's do this. Let's do this. We need the artisan. And we need, what, three of these? One, two, three. Boom. We need, said we needed the wool. That... What is this? This should be this with four of these. Gets us four more wool cloth. I think I've got iron. I need some tin. Give me the tin. Give me the tin. So now we need to make... Uh, well, we needed this and this. Wasn't this what we were making? I'm so lost. What's going on? Oh, crap. Ah, I like this. I like this. There's two more that we can look at. Filter. String mesh. Oh, I didn't actually need some of this wool because I mixed up because these two look exactly the same almost. There's only a slight change to them. So we need two paper, four wool cloth, and the stuff. So I know I have paper here somewhere. There we go. Jeez, I didn't even have to farm as much as I did. I think I did this when I did this in the uh, the group one too, is how do you get it? So we've got our filter. And now with the filter, we need two tin, two iron. So what did I say? Two tin, two iron? Or did I mix this up already? There we go. We've got our tank valve. Woo! Quest complete. So now if we claim this one, get our block of iron, our rare loot bag and coin... We should now have blacksmithing unlocked. And blacksmithing, if we go to the quick slide, now opens up a second option down here, which gives us a tutorial. So this gives us stuff for the blacksmith workshop, and it's essential for making stuff. Uh, this is important for producing hammers and excavators before the tool forge becomes available. Um, most of the stuff that you're used to getting, like hoppers, is through here. Um... 
So it's quite quite interesting. So we're just going to say, yeah, we, we got this. Let's go. And then the first thing that we will have to do is making a gas tank. And a gas tank, we're going to need silicon, block of iron, and a tank valve in, in the rolling machine. Or we need a whole bunch of iron, iron plate, silicon plate, and tank valve. So we're going to leave that for next episode because I think we're going to go hard into the blacksmithing next time. But just to give you guys a little taste of what's going on there. But let's look at what else happened while we were out and exploring. Um, you'll notice we had the uh, the chisel. Uh, we picked up a chisel. So let's uh, let's actually take a look at what a chisel takes to make. Because um, we did luck out and get one. So this chisel is just four iron and a stick. So not hard to make at all. You could have completed this one already if you really wanted to. And it gets, gets you some fencing. So nothing nothing too much to worry about. And the other one we did is fresh water. And fresh water is interesting. All you need to do is put a bucket full of water. So pick some water up out of the water. And you can get fresh water. Depending on the type of bucket, will give you different stuff. And this is something we're going to need for Pam's Harvest Craft. So... Again, not too shabby to have some around and make it handy for you. So here I'm go. I would go with the clay or the sand in this regard. In this regard, I'm going to grab the sand just because I know I don't have as much of that hanging around as I do clay because I've done some picking up on there. And that gets us our fresh water done. So we did it. We unlocked the blacksmithing. Ah, I want to push one more forward. I want to push more forward. I still got room. We're going to sleep really quick. You guys are getting a little bit of a long episode today. Hope you appreciate it. Because we are going to get all the wonderful redstone so that we can push even further to quit main quest line zero. Well, I'll try to get main quest line one because at the bottom of my mind, which still needs a lot of work, I know. Got to think, I want to I wanna make a really cool looking mine one of these days. I always kind of half do it. I get started and then I, I don't have anything else to go along with it. So I need some cool design ideas one of these days. But here we go. We found some redstone. We do need an uh, iron pickaxe minimum. So now that we have it, we can get it. And with these few blocks of redstone, boom, a little bit of redstone. So redstone spawns a little bit deeper. I mean, typical Minecraft. Uh, you can find it. And we needed the iron pick. Gets us some tin plates, which is fantastic, which opens up two more things that we can do, which, again, we, well, I don't know. Do we just do we just start with the blacksmith workshop next time? If so, which I think we should. Oh, I think we definitely need to need to finish up the last little pieces if we can still do some stuff. And I think we can. I think we can. God, I can. I want to get some sort of elevator or mine cart that I can just zip up and down between because this is well, it would help if my stairs were finished, but I need a lot of granite for that. Okay inside please faster fast I, I should have just freaking slashed home that was so funny that was so funny ah so a little bit of redstone we next need uh too many tools so this is giving us two new sets of special tools that we will be needing we need artisan copper cutters which is string cop well artisan cutters of any type but copper string sticks and this is copper sticks string which we should have all of that except for the sticks right now but I always keep some sticks in my wood chest because why not? And get a few more. Uh, let's use the copper because copper is what I got the most of. So string, copper, copper, stick, sticks, copper cutters are done or pliers are done. And this one was what? I feel like it was this. I love how we ate through all that string already. That and that. Beautiful. Too many tools. Gives us the copper punch too, which is another one that we're going to need. Oh, and I'm throwing stuff on the floor again. I'm throwing stuff on the floor again. Like a good, like a good one. Okay, so the other one that we have to do, or that I know we can do, is the compressed sawdust. Added by thermal extension, we need nine sawdust together to get uh, one of them, and we need three of them, which, oh, funny enough, we had to make some sawdust out of the previous ones. So to get three of these, oh look, there we go, we're done. We have that one all complete. Claim for a melon, mmm, tasty. Uh, and copper coil, is this, this is going to get a little bit more expensive, but we do have redstone, so we should be able to do this one. Did I put my copper back? I threw my copper in a chest. So now that we have redstone, 
we can do two redstone, we can do copper, copper, we can do a stick in the middle and that gets our coil. Boom, copper coil is complete. Another one, we get more iron plates, which is, you see how it's giving us a lot of plates? I think that's indicative of something, guys. Um, tool station is going to take some advanced crafting. We're going to we're gonna hold off on that and make sure I've got what we need. And the other one we need is the coal generator. Get some power going. Again, this is going to take a little bit more stuff. We should have everything we need for this, but we have to make up some plates and everything. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. So that's where we're going to leave it today. We have uh, knocked out three main pieces of this main quest line zero and really starting to open up the ability to use uh, some other pieces like the ores and smeltery, getting better ores going, and some machines and some blacksmithing, which I would say are three of the important pieces of this mod pack. So uh, it feels good to get close to that. We also knocked out some of this piddly stuff but piddly stuff will will come through it's nice filler content so appreciate you guys all watching if you guys have been finding this helpful let us know hit that like button if you want to see more subscribe to the channel in the bottom left and uh, you'll get updates when all the new content gets live especially if you hit that little bell notification once you subscribe and uh, yeah if you want to join the community check out our discord the link's down in the description below we'd love to have you hang around with the rest of us it's a it's a fun place to hang out with people that like uh, like gaming so we hope you hope you join us thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all in the next one Bye.